see how to route to the market. What I will say to you, my golden rules, is before you even start doing any research, you need to check the ingredients. You need to make sure that your product can fit with the Japanese market. Golden rules, check your ingredients. Um, to check your ingredients, you can contact um, DIT, the Department of International Trade, or um, the, the website Exporting to Japan, which is very useful. Okay, so let's go to see Exporting to Japan, the different routes. We have the, route, the usual route importers, distributors. Then we have directly to select stores like Costco. So in Japan, you have six stores, six Costco. Obviously, you have the e-commerce, licensing, trading, joint venture, and direct investment. So today, due to the lack of time, we are only going to talk about importers and distributors. But obviously, if you have any question, um, you can contact me after or uh, during the Q&A. We understood that in Japan, you need to create a climate of trust. Yes, you need to be introduced and cold calling doesn't seem to be working. So, for example, according to the website Exporting to Japan, they do say is very few uh, companies will penetrate, will, um, will export by themselves to the Japanese market. So, the way we did it, we, um, we contacted DIT, UKTI at the time, the Department of International Trade, and we did an OMIS report. And this OMIS report is an overseas introduction service. So basically, they, they do um, a survey, a report, and they identify the potential partners for you. And that was key for us because, as I said, they introduced us to the right people. So if we go back there, so I went, I went to Japan after the, the report, and then um, I visited several um, distributors, and I def identify one in uh, Japan. So I'm just going to go through what your Japanese uh, distributor might look for. So he's looking for a brand. You need to be able to, to explain to him that you're already established in UK or you're already selling to several department stores. You need to have some pictures. They're always useful. Obviously, you need to have a unique selling point why he should buy you because the Japanese market is a, Japan, is a mature market. There's already lots of people. They also like you to know the market, so you have a target customer, you already understand how they work. Also, for example, a Japanese distributor will sell a large number of confectionery, so it's easier for him to go to see his customer. Also, he wants you to deliver on time, we buy quickly. Obviously, they like also new products. You need to be able to produce new products quite often. Why? The chef life also is very important. Obviously, it takes like four weeks to get there, so he wants to be able to sell it. So you, for, in our case, we needed a minimum of 12 months. Also for your distributor, he wants a marketing support, so when you come in, it's not only the product, but he wants you to be able maybe to supply your Japanese website or page, a brochure, um, packaging that we are going to, to develop. And also he wants you to be willing to develop some local products.